This is a Toyota RAV4, the best selling SUV in America. This is the hybrid model, an SUV designed for sensible people who care about the environment and their wallets. Unlike the EV nuts who just want to overwhelm a decaying electrical grid. So today we'll explore all that makes this SUV so desirable and then after that I will show you some of my favorite features, take it for a drive and give you some driving impressions and then in the end I will point out some of the things that you should look for if you're planning to buy one of these. The Toyota RAV4, short for Recreational Active Vehicle with Four-Wheel Drive, made its grand entrance in 1994 as Toyota's first ever crossover SUV. This little crossover was a trailblazer, blending the best of both worlds, the rugged capabilities of an SUV and the maneuverability of a compact car. So over the years, it has evolved, it has adapted, embracing new technologies and design cues. This fifth generation is a testament to its enduring legacy, offering innovation, reliability and endurance, making the RAV4 a household name. This last generation hybrid RAV4 comes in a number of configurations, including the Prime, a plug-in hybrid. This model I'm reviewing today is a 2022 RAV4 SC hybrid and it is a splendid iteration that combines beautiful aesthetic upgrades along with tech and comfort creatures. It packs all the virtues of its predecessors while adding a dash of eco-friendliness to the mix. And the design is like a finely tailored suit with an adventurous spirit. It's the Fresh Prince of Bel Air jacket. Under the hood, you find a 2.5 four-cylinder engine paired with an electric motor delivering a combined 219 horsepower. It is an efficient powerhouse that doesn't shy away from the open road. And you can rest easy knowing you're leaving a smaller carbon footprint. But fuel economy is really where the RAV4 Hybrid truly shines, with its electric motor, regenerative braking system and smooth transitions between gasoline and electric power, it sips fuel like a connoisseur sipping fine wine. You'll find yourself grinding at the pump when you achieve an impressive 41 mpg in the city and 38 on the highway. The Rock Ford Hybrid features Toyota's electronic on-demand all-wheel drive system. It delivers power to the wheels that need it the most, ensuring excellent traction in various road conditions. Whether you're navigating city streets or exploring off the beaten path trails, the RAV4 Hybrid has your back. Slip into the interior of the RAV4 and you'll be greeted by a well-designed, durable interior with comfortable sitting and an intuitive infotainment system that makes you feel right at home. The RAV4 Hybrid is not just a great commuter, it is also a fantastic road trip companion. Toyota knows how to prioritize safety and the 2022 RAV4 Hybrid is no exception. It comes equipped with Toyota Safety Sense 2.0 which includes features like adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning, automatic emergency braking and pedestrian detection. You feel like you have an extra pair of eyes and brakes on the road. You'll be amazed by how much cargo space there is in the new RAV4 and fold down the two foldable seats in here for a total of 69.8 cubic feet of cargo space back here. This will give you plenty of cargo capability for all of your adventures. And when you're all done, just hit a button and it's all done. And now for my favorite features, let's start right here with the hybrid system. This is such an intricate, such a technological feat that I can't help but to be amazed by it. And I mean, now it's, it's becoming more of a norm, uh, but it used to be very, very unique. Now, how do you take 
an internal combustion engine, an electric motor, and a continuously variable transmission and make all these things work together smoothly. I mean, if, when you really think about everything that's going on here, all the vacuum lines and all the cooling system, I mean, how does one thing work without the other? It, it is just completely amazing how this all comes together to give you a fuel efficient vehicle. If you have the chance, I urge you to go and look up hybrid technology so that you can understand how all these things work and, and come together to deliver efficiency because it is truly incredible. The design of this fifth generation RAV4 is very appealing to me as well because it is, it takes away a lot of the cues from the original, but it has matured over time and it's looking more you know, adventurous, more rugged to compete with vehicles like Jeep. And so when you look at the design cues throughout the vehicle, it is just very sporty, adventurous, appealing, but also very mature. And that is also true in the inside of the RAT4. You can see how everything in here looks very modern, very angular, but very adventurous and sporty at the same time. I like these knobs here with a rubber finish on the outside to give you a better grip. And just the steering wheel, the look of everything has matured so well in this cabin. The materials are, you know, durable materials, not necessarily, you know, high quality materials, but certainly do not feel cheap. Everything is where you need it to be. Everything is very intuitive. All the buttons, the climate control here, you have your seat heaters, traction control here, and then you have your different driver modes here. You have Eco, Normal, and Sport. And then you also have the EV mode here, which is pretty cool. Plenty of storage for your drinks and your stuff in the center console. Uh, right here on the side uh, by the door panels, you have USB and USB-C chargers front and back. You have this little area here where you can store a lot of the iron balls that you can use to throw at the EV drivers as they pass you the other way. The seats are very comfortable and give you a lot of lumbar support. And let's not forget the extending sun visors. That's it for my favorite features. If you, know, if you have something that's one of your favorite features, comment below, maybe I missed it. But now, for my favorite part, let's go for a drive. And now driving the Toyota RAV4 Hybrid. And I can say that I've had quite a bit of experience with this car personally, because this is my mom's car. Having driven from Pennsylvania to Florida there and back, I think I can say with certainty that I've had enough experience with this car to give a verdict. And so, here's my verdict. I think Toyota has done a phenomenal job with this vehicle in terms of the driving dynamic, uh, combining everything with fuel efficiency, durability, reliability. Obviously, this is not going to be a very sporty uh, driving experience, even if you select the sport mode. However, if you think about, in reality, what it is that you're driving and what you're accomplishing, I think that it, it's a vehicle that will not disappoint. It doesn't turn in like a sporty car. It doesn't drive like a sporty car, although it is decently quick. The torque that you get out of the electric motors, it's more than enough to get you going pretty quickly. Now let's do a quick pull here from zero so that you can see the power. As a Toyota product, you'll know that everything is within reach, very ergonomical, and just very, very intuitive. Everything makes sense. Visibility is great, and it's a very comfortable vehicle. But efficiency and peace of mind is at the core of this vehicle. That's why really you get a RAV4 hybrid. The hybrid system in itself, it's such a complex system that it will take a hell of a lot of engineering to make it not only work well and smoothly, but make it durable. And this one is. I'm astounded with just 
how smooth and consistent uh, uh, the power delivery is in this car. It doesn't matter if you get going with battery only, which you can, as long as you drive smoothly, you can go for quite a distance with just battery power and then the engine kicks in as needed. But it is just incredible to me just how smooth the transition from one to the next is. And it's not just about how smooth the power delivery is, but the braking system as well, because this has regenerative braking, which means that if you slightly touch the brake pedal, the electric motors are actually slowing you down instead of the brake pads. And then as you keep pushing forward for more braking power, then the traditional mechanical braking system engages and stops you. But initially it is all regenerative braking and that transition from regenerative braking, the electric motor to the mechanical motor is also very smooth, which is incredible. It is very easy for me to see why this is the best selling SUV in America and why I chose it for my mom. And now you're really pumped and excited to buy one of these. So allow me to highlight some of the things that you should look for if you're planning to buy one. I made a video to show you general things to look for when buying any car, like body shape, signs of wear, leaks, etc. I've also created a checklist so that you don't miss any of the steps. The link to that is included below. Use that as your starting point, but now let's dig into things to look for for this car specifically that I think can be very costly repairs. Keep in mind that it's never a bad idea to bring along a car savvy friend with you who is familiar with these hybrid vehicles. If you find one that you have your heart set on, I would also recommend that you get a PPI, a pre-purchase inspection done by an experienced hybrid EV mechanic shop or Toyota themselves. It'll be the best $200 you spent on the car. Also ensure that you discuss with the current owner the list of items that we'll review in the section of this video. Right, so let's jump right into it. I'll have to do this section as a voiceover because of the wind. It was just completely insane that day, so apologies. Safety first, never poke around the orange cables as these may carry high voltage. Right, so the first thing I want to highlight is battery degradation. Over time, you may experience uh, battery degradation on the hybrid system, resulting from decreased electric-only range and overall fuel efficiency. There's no easy way to check on this on your own, so have the professionals do it. However, if you insist, keep an eye on the battery display. This is all you can do. If you see erratic battery charge and discharge during a long test drive, uh, or it's very probable that you have severe battery degradation. Next is your hybrid system warning lights. Occasionally, the hybrid system warning lights may illuminate, indicating some issues with the hybrid powertrain that may require diagnostics or repairs. So be sure to look through all the alerts. Next is the brake actuator noise. Some owners have reported unusual noise coming from the brake actuator, particularly when regenerative braking is active. This could be due to the air trapped in the brake fluid. Other times, you may need a software reset, so be sure to check into that. Next is suspension noises, tire wear, rattles and interior noises, as well as pain and exterior issues. Uh, these are not that common, but there's been complaints from uh, owners, so be sure to check everything out. You should already be checking all these different things from my checklist, so be sure to do that before you take into consideration these high ticket items. That's it, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you find this video helpful and informative. If you did, give me a like, comment below with any suggestions to other people looking to buy one of these. Maybe I missed some issues. And also, don't forget to share and subscribe. Thanks, see you in the next one. Here's the best part, going from a stop sign on EV mode and just seeing how far you can go without starting the engine. <laughs> this is excitement. <laughs>